we are exactly where we were yesterday. And uh, yeah, I haven't done anything on our railing. In fact, my coffee is, uh, is yesterday's coffee. I just warmed it up a few minutes ago in the microwave. Um, now, one of the viewers had mentioned that when I had done this on the Bismarck, I had taken, I think it was the, one of the drawings, and I had enlarged it in the computer to, to the exact size of 200, 200 scale, and then I was able to lay the railing down on top of the drawing, and it aided in uh, uh, getting the, the shape like this a lot easier. And uh, I had thought about that yesterday, um, but for whatever reason I didn't do it. I don't know if I'm going to do that for, for, the, for the hood. Um, it, it, it did work out really well, I remember. Um, I'll have to check and see what kind of drawings I have for the hood. I know we do have some. I think they came with uh, Stefan Drambinski's book. Uh, the, I don't think they were to 200 scale, though. I think they were uh, uh, something else. But they, I can enlarge them one way or the other in the computer and get them exactly right to probably within, I'm guessing, uh, oh, probably a quarter of a millimeter of being dead on. Uh, however, that's neither here nor there. So let's... Uh, get the macro lens back on the camera and uh, try and get this out of here without breaking anything and just see how well everything stuck together. I think it's going to be okay. Now as long as I got the macro lens on here may as well show you what kind of snow we got last night. In other words very little. It stopped snowing very soon after I shot that shot that I know you're all worried about. Now I guess somebody's going to say hey wait a minute Ron you said you got the macro lens on? Yeah, the macro lens is a 105 millimeter focal length, and so it's like a very weak telephoto lens. It'd be like a two power lens, maybe? Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, Ron, don't be a bull in the china shop here and bump anything. Now, this is where we glued yesterday. So hopefully that bottom rail is going to stay there when I remove this uh, holder downer. Alright, now the idea is to reposition this okay, very, very gently here. You know what, maybe I should be hooking in here. I've got my uh, pin in the wrong place. I'll get it out of there without... That won't come out of there. Come on! Well, that was stupid now. There it is. Okay, just, just let me look at this thing. Is this at the, the wrong angle, maybe? Okay, I, I twisted it around just very slightly there. Oh, I went. I can't believe I did that. Now, for those of you who think I'm taking too much time doing this sort of thing, well, <clears throat> you know what? This is what I do. Um, and what I'm thinking about is a is a comment that I got yesterday. Actually, two comments, and and I could tell the person wasn't happy with the way I was doing this, the way I was doing my videoing. Well, this is my style, and if you don't like it, well, then this particular channel is not for you because this is what I do. All right, there, pull that back. All right, now we'll just try and get a little bit of uh, CA glue right along the bottom there. Now this uh, CA thin that I've got here from yesterday is, it's thickened up a little bit. Oh, I got it in the wrong place. OK, 
Okay, let's let that cure. Okay, at least half an hour has passed here now. And it'll be interesting to see how badly we seate our holder dammer to the bottom rail. It will stick a little bit. I want to be careful when I... Okay, it's loose. Now, I know we could put it back in right here and hold this, this, this part down, but I'm going to try and just do it with just one shot here. I, I might have to rearrange everything. Let's just see what's going to happen. Whoops. Okay, I do believe we've got it there. Does it look like that back post is pushed down as far as it'll go? Just very gently here. We'll just move this other piece out of the way. So we're not going to worry about it for a while. But this one here, there, now it's down. Okay, now where's our CA? Got a little hair on that thing. Gotta brace myself better here. Now I don't want to brace myself on something fragile. This isn't working. There we go. Ran down the, ran down the side. And then when I pulled my hand back, I bumped the uh, holder downer. But fortunately, I didn't bump it real hard. Okay. You know what? I'm wondering. I got quite a bit of CA on the holder downer. I wonder if I was to slowly pull everything back. It might sort of pull itself out. Is it going to stay there? Let's see what happens. Now, if I try to wipe this off with one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips, but I'm, I'm thinking now I'm probably going to make it worse. I think I'm better off just, just painting over that. Um, I believe this is the number 22 gray. So I just maybe put a little touch of the 22 on there. Or on the other hand, uh, I, I, know we, I know we can really see it when we look up close like this, but now that I'm looking back at almost a normal distance, well, a little closer, it doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, I'm talking about this where I got the CA glue on right there. Now, for the back one, I don't know if the holder downer is going to work or not. This is actually the first time I'm trying it. No, it's at the wrong angle. I was to go like this. Is it going to be able to? Can we do it in one shot? I don't know. Let me put this down for a moment. Okay, I can see that. It's not going to want to go, whoops, I'm bending the rail. It's not going to want to go on the inside of that lip that we were talking about yesterday. So I'm thinking maybe I just adhere it like that. Let's, let's just get this first post right. And then we'll see where the rest of it wants to naturally come. Okay, if we get that post like that, and just then we can straighten the railing out and join the two posts together. I kind of had it, I 
should have left well enough alone there. That, that doesn't look right. Just see if I can find something here that I can hook into. I suppose I could use this. Maybe I should uh, burn the CA off of there in case it's still liquidy. Okay, I'm using this because it's such a nice hook. There, that's not too bad. Okay, let's let's just put a little bit of CA right there. Okay, about five minutes has passed here now. Now, I'm wondering if I was to take my holder downer and bring it in and put the base of the holder downer on the other side, in other words, the pliers, and then drop it down like this. Would, this, would something like this work here? Gonna have to bend the gonna have to bend the pin. Okay. Well, let's let's just come in at the right angle here. So I'm just put a little bit of downward pressure. Sorry, I got my hands in your way here. Mm. Okay, that's putting downward pressure, but it's bending the, the railing in. But that's okay, we can straighten that after. I do believe it's, I do believe the bottom railing is touching the lip all the way around. Okay, let's just sort of, well, it's not quite right in the back here. Okay, you probably can't see what I'm doing because the gun is in the way. Okay, now that one is... That, that one's as glued as it's going to get now. Let's go over here and try this one. I don't think it's really touching the railing, is it? Come in from the back. There's a lot of glue on there. I don't don't like that too much, but okay. I think we got it. Now it could be that by the time you hear this, things will have changed. But here is what's happened. Earlier this morning. I was watching Scott's latest video that he put up. It was a, a short video, and he was, uh, now by Scott, I mean Aussie Trekkie. And it was a, a rather short video. I watched the entire thing, and he was doing a walk around of the Starship Enterprise that he's building, and he was showing how the lights looked. And it actually looked pretty good. And um, in it, he was saying something to the effect of, 
he didn't know if he was going to do any more on this because he was noticing that the uh, viewership had gone down um, or something to that effect. And he didn't know what he was going to do next. So I noticed that there was one other comment already, so I made what I felt was a charitable comment. I said uh, something about uh, the lighting looks good, and then I said, uh, uh, I, I wish I'd, I'd copied it because I can't now, and I'll tell you why. Um, yeah, I said, well, you don't worry about the numbers. Do whatever you enjoy, or something to that effect. Okay, now just a few minutes ago while I'm sitting here at the computer editing this out, I'm noticing that his channel is down. You know, on the left-hand side of your screen, at least that's the way it is on mine, the, I'm, I've got the list of those people who I have subscribed to. And I'm noticing that Ozzy Trekkie is gone. So I spent a few minutes here trying to figure out what happened, and I can't find it anywhere. Scott, I sure hope it wasn't something I said. Because if you've taken your channel down, um, the, there was a lot of really good information there. Uh, please put it back up. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe something else happened. Maybe he's <laughs> doing a, making another adjustment or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm just speculating. I, I'm just sort of in shock here because, uh, Scott, you were a pillar in the model-making community. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd sort of pass that on. Does, does anybody else know what maybe what happened here? Uh, yeah, the... the like I say, I, I, I'm kind of in shock. Oh, one more thing I should say, Scott, if you're listening. Uh, you remember a couple of years ago uh, I started doing the Bismarck? Well, I, got it, I did the Bismarck uh, uh, partially because you had done the Bismarck, and I, I watched you build that, and I uh, thought, you know, I, I think I could do that. I, I think I'd enjoy doing that. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, you know, uh, you can take a little bit of credit for my Bismarck build. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Ron's channel. Okay, now I was noticing at the back here that this back bottom rail on the curve, uh, in fact, all the way from the holder down, or probably most of the way around, it's not, the rail is not glued to what what we call the lip but I think that's going to be okay I don't think that, uh, that there's going to be any stress put on put put on this unless I was to accidentally catch something on it so let, let's just take our pressure off here all right now I'll tell you what I'll move the macro lens back in again Okay, we're going to concentrate on this corner here. First of all, let's see if I can bend our rail up. Okay, I think we fixed that. Now this has to come out. I wonder if maybe the, the CA has run itself too far up between the two posts. Um, I really had only intended for it to adhere right at the bottom of the post, and it, but I did see it wicking its way up. And if I if I try to pull this out, it's it's pretty tight. Maybe if I grab it with something flat, well, sort of flat. Yeah, you probably heard it break loose there. Okay, let me check the monitor and see how that looks. Maybe just a smidgen more. If I was to bend this in... Okay, now from my perspective that looks pretty good. Okay, let's quit. 
No, for this other one. Which goes on the other side, right over here. It's a mirror image, exactly, of this one that we just put on. So, I'm going to be doing it pretty much the same way. But I'm not going to video it, because it's going to be pretty much the same way. And, uh... I'm trying to control myself here not to poke at it. I guess maybe I shouldn't have put it there. Let's put it back where it's safe. Anyway, I'm going to do that off camera. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. I'm going to see if I can't do it yet this afternoon. And if not, then, well, whenever. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.